Hello guys, welcome to Somehow I Design and this is Yunus Emen Aljolu and today we are going to start our mid-level alias uh, surfacing tutorial series with this beautiful vertical mouse. Um, as you can see over here, this is the pretty much the results that we are going to uh, we are going to end up with. And meanwhile, I will um, I will provide you some data sets. Uh, above the link uh, in the description uh, in example this is the um, this is this will be the data set for the first uh, video that we create this um, lower side of the mouse and then we are going to be creating the rest of it and each video uh, each video description I will share some simple data sets such as curves and um, surfaces so that you can so that you can uh, if you if you have any trouble on something you can uh, try to use the curves that i provided to you and yeah pretty much yeah i get where the video is so yeah without further ado let's jump in yeah in here after i place the canvases I am trying to trace over the uh, image to capture the um, design uh, intention of the existing product yeah so you will you will notice that uh, the canvas placement is different than the data set that you have and with the with the video and this this top view slightly rotated and this one is correct because I didn't realize at the moment that I was uh, trying to record the video and um, later on I have realized that it was uh, the rotation of the um, images is, is wrong and I had to redo some stuff that I've did but you won't you won't have to you won't have to do that so uh, you can you can pretty much do the same methodology that I do here yeah try to um, trace the canvas that uh, you have at the moment and yeah pretty much uh, trying to capture the design I'm aligning one curve to the another one so that I can yeah uh, control better way in a better way I'm using G1 alignment at the moment Yeah, and going to the font view and kind of rotating and scaling. Um, the thing is, I am thinking it through my head that how can I create the um, curve network in a in a true way, in a right way. Like pretty much, I am here at the moment trying to yeah solve the problems. Uh, of creating surface layout before doing so we should have good curve layout and we are going to be creating our surfaces out of this uh, curves so yeah it's it's important to place in a correct way place your curves in a correct way this is uh, the video in here is uh, two times faster than the normal. I am just pretty much, yeah, pulling some CVs, rotating some CVs, yeah, scaling down, scaling up to create some sort of morphology that makes sense, yeah. So this is pretty much pretty much the same thing before I begin to create curves. Uh, you can you can you can watch the video and meanwhile you can try to make one of your own and yeah I will I will at the moment I will leave the um, video rolling on and if there is any any other any other place where I should interrupt I will uh, dive in.
yeah, at this point, I was thinking how how the bottom edge uh, view should should be shaped, and there is actually top view top view image is open uh, at, uh, in the screen, and I'm not going to use that imagery since I won't be um, implementing the features underneath the mouse. I was just scaling down to match it. Actually, I have realized that it doesn't match correctly. Some 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 things are missing, and I didn't I didn't understand why at at that moment. But I will understand on the next video. But I got rid of it, and just front view and the top view will be enough. Yeah. No need to be no need to make things complicated than it is. They're trying to capture the um, bottom area, scaling down the curves. Once you once you look at the top from top view, uh, which I will be looking uh, shortly, it is kind of I'm trying to make it kind of offset than our yeah compared to our design curve that angular angular round shape curve. Yeah, it is pretty much the I'm going to be scaling down. Yeah, I'm just delaying the top view at that moment. Yeah, I will scale in it down on the Z axis to make it look like it, it is offset. It, yeah. And I am kind of delating. Yeah, delating the um, CVs lowering the cv rows and snapping them snapping them again according to the changes that i've done i'm re-snapping them it's just yeah it 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 trying trying to make them more sense actually and then adding the cvs and giving it crown approximately matching the imagery over there Yeah, it seems like we are we are getting there. It it kind of made a little bit sense. We can maybe try to create our surfaces by using skin tool. I'm increasing the degrees to capture the um capture the edges of the curve bed in a better way. Yeah. And then I'm going to add one more CV row in the middle so that we can create this crown shape of the surface. Surfaces are never straight in in most industries unless you design yeah, a desk or something. Yeah, just scaling. I, I have I have selected all the CV rows. And they have they, their uh, pivot point is centered, and after I scale them, they all act in the same way. Yeah, I am realigning the edges, checking the continuities, G1 continuity at the moment. Yeah, pretty much we uh, we have that rounded uh, surfaces, but we don't have that. Uh, transition surface that fades in through its it through it goes to the plug area so we can begin to create that with some simple curves that kind of emphasizes its limits yeah, I'm just gonna create another layer over there making it red so that the curves are red which is more obvious yeah trying to snap that in the middle but my snap options are bigger than that so i decrease that from three to two so that i can snap it in the middle but as it, it turns out that it's not intersecting in the middle of that edge so i am kind of capturing the topology of the imagery and extending the curve since i will project that for both of the surfaces over there yeah i have curve on surface and i am duplicating that to obtain a curve and decreased the degrees of CVs to control it much more easily yeah always do that I'm aligning one CV, uh, curve to it to the other one so that if I change that one 
the other one will follow. Yeah, I'm just kind of again. Uh, I'm just kind of again over there, thinking the um, offsets of the from the top view. Yeah. Uh, I have created one curve and uh, projected to the next surface so that I can align the other CV row to that as a G1 continuity. So that may that will make that surface will be transitioning into the other one if after I created the uh, squares over there, which at, which is now I have created squares from the edges, either surface or the curves doesn't matter at the moment. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't shade, so if you if you click on your diagnostic shader, it just come it just comes there. Don't think there is no surface. I have templated my old surfaces, the initial surfaces, yeah, so that we can see clearly. Um, I am checking the um, CV layouts and yeah, decreasing and controlling it again. We will always be controlling the CV structure when it when it comes to the surface mod. Always, it's just there won't be there won't be a time that we do not open the uh, CVs of 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 the surfaces. Yeah, we will always open the CV of the surfaces, and we always uh, control that. Yeah, I'm aligning the surfaces again to to the edges, and uh, instead of edge align, I uh, change that to skew so that it won't dis disrupt our uh, edge structure yeah we pretty much it seems pretty much we got the um, imagery the design this imagery of design uh, I'm showing here my tolerances are high uh, and tessellate is accurate but surface was not looking that good because my anti alias option under the display menu on the top was not open yeah, so I have changed that. Yeah, simple, simple layerings. I have the, uh, changed the layer of the canvas. Yeah, we pretty much have the design intention over there. And yeah, so this will be the it for the video. You guys, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, on the comment below, if you have if you have managed to reach. Uh, at this level or not don't forget the comments below and like the video and subscribe to the channel yeah see you on the next one